Cut. Paige, can you open the gate for her so she's not dropping them? I got it. Okay, hey, don't drop them. Like One white. Good job. We need to give them a box in there so they cannot be getting poop on it. Okay, so we are back at, can you see? Tractor Supply see Store. Huh? I can't see. Oh, hi. Now I can see. And we've got to go get some scratch feed. The hens seem to like the scratch feed better than the retail pellets, which that makes me really happy actually, that they're enjoying scratching and having that experience because they've never had that before. They were um, cage babies. So we're gonna go ahead and get some scratch grain and some pellets. Paigey, can you get a cart please? Um, no, we need something we can put up a little bit higher because I don't wanna have to try and lift it off of there. Uh, we might need a wheelbarrow too, but. Maybe that. If you're gonna do mulch, wagon. you're gonna need wheelbarrow. What about the old wagon? How about the wagon? Hmm? How about the wagon? We could get to use some more leaves. The problem with us getting leaves from We do need by some kind of. Is, is that we can't carry them. Yep, we can't carry them. We do need a wheelbarrow of some kind. There's my little dancer. Here's layer pellets, honey. We don't need the crumble because we're just putting it in the water anyway. So, do you want to hold this and I'll get a bag? No, I can't. I just had your back put in. How about if you let me do it? Here. Remember, you got to back up enough. You can see. I'll do it too. Yeah, All right. Scratch. All right. Now let's go find some scratch. Oh, there's scratch grains down here. That is a really good price. Is that 35 pounds though or 50? Hi. 50 pounds, so that is a really, really good price. One on each side and roll. Good work. I wonder if maybe the chickens need a little bit of oyster shell. Just because there's no rocks. We don't have any rocks in our ground. And without any rocks. Yeah, we do have rocks, but they're big. They're in uh, our place. That big. Yeah, behind the house, there's some that big. Really? Yeah, the that would be hard for them. Big. So it took three different purchasing expeditions to get all the parts for the rabbit hutches because it was cheaper to get the cage wire from um, True Value on on their website. And then in order to get the, the guards that go along the raw edges and the feeders and the springs, I had to then get that from bunnyrabbit.com, which I think is a terrible name, bunnyrabbit.com. And then in order to get the feed, I'm here at Tractor Supply. And so getting set up is the most expensive part. Back home, I made my first cages out of shelving units and it cost me zero I think it might have cost me six dollars because I had to go get some hog rings. So these are our hog ring. Um, these these are your hog rings, and they're like a big paper clip kind of. And that's I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Anyway, these pliers close them, and I was able to take wire shelving units and turn them into my cages. Remember those big cages that I made shelves into yeah. cages. So those pliers, are, I think, are $12, and the actual, um, and then the actual little staple is like $3, and so yeah, it cost me $6 to do my first cages. I'm doing it the right way. I'm doing it the right way now so that I can show you how to do it the right way, but it is cost prohibitive to get the wire and the little clips and the pliers because I already had them at home. I had bought them over the course of time, so it was cheap. Buying it all at once, these rabbit hutches are probably going to cost me, 
Well, it depends on how many rabbits you're putting out there. <laughs> if you're just doing two rabbits, it would probably cost you a couple hundred dollars just to get the cages and the feeders and everything finished. If you do it the right way, if you do it the way that I've always done it, it's significantly less because you're doing it over time. But again, I'm trying to show you how to do it the right way all at once. So I've spent quite a bit, quite a bit of money. So thank you to those of you who bought t-shirts because that's what's paying for this. So yes, we need the cubes, the alfalfa oat cubes. See that cubes? Those ones, those ones don't fall through the cage, and so it gives them something to chew on. Uh, kind of in their off time. Yes, honey, thank you. These for sale, she is an expensive $18, but she's worth every penny. She's a hard worker, and on top of that, she dances. Good one, Mom. Good one, Mom. Okay. okay, so when I'm also feeding goats, I will also do beet pulp pellets. I do um, alfalfa pellets. I do black oil sunflower seeds. I'm tempted to go get black oil sunflower seeds for the chickens and the bunnies. But those three things I use in all my feed. Another picture. So I do like to mix my own feed. For one thing, if you're doing sweet feed, it's best if they don't get too much of that. It makes a lot more sense to have something high in protein and not so high in sugars. Um, and so it slows my goats down so that when they have a multitude of things to choose from, it, it just gives me a lot more time to milk without them getting too much grain. There's your black oil sunflower seeds. I am really tempted to get those for the birds. I think it makes a huge difference in their eggs. Um, and they've had kind of a rough go of it. So I wonder if what we should do is get some wild bird feed. Have we got some wild bird feed? Okay, so Milo, white millet, cracked corn, wheat, black oil, sunflower seed. And you can actually use those to grow your own sunflowers because they are viable. I think that cart couldn't take any more. Yeah, the cart may not take any more. So we're gonna go find some rabbit pellets and then I think we're done. You do want hay, you want roughage for your rabbits. So, complete. rabbit feed for $13.99. So that's probably, I generally go for the cheapest I can find. I supplement with other things and so I feel like it's still pretty, pretty complete. Again, I got the waterers and feeders and the extra caging supplies from bunnyrabbits.com. But you do want to go to your local feed store and kind of make yourself aware of what they have that's available. Always lift with your knees, not your back. What's that matter with you? One thing you've got to be really careful of, how are you going to store your food? Because you're going to get mice and squirrels into it if you don't have it in some kind of um, critter proof container. I like to use Rubbermaids, but I really like to use the ones at Home Depot that have the little flipping lid. I love those because you can stack them. And so we might have to go over to Home Depot and see if we can find some of those bins to keep this food safe. Um, those are the ones I think. They're yeah. much, they're very similar to what we have, aren't Stuck they? Store. But they, I would bet that they're pretty expensive. The ones I bought before were like seven dollars. Heavy? One thing is, is that if you have a prolonged period of illness, if you thought you were pretty strong before a prolonged illness, does your muscles atrophy pretty quickly. So have some uh, forgiveness and patience with your body for right now. This is not a fun thing to do, but I don't, Paige just got her back warm, so I don't want her doing it, but just want to put it out there. I am feeling a little weak 
and that's okay. And so you give it slow. Up front. Yeah, it's inside the brown one. Hop on it and push the button. I'm gonna... And why are you insisting on doing this, kiddo? Just because you're super, super strong? Can we move the van? How did you get the other ones in there? That's my question. I did. This you did? Too wide. Yeah. Do you want to go around the other side? <laughs> you realize that that bag weighs about as much as you do, right? How much does it weigh? It weighs 50 pounds and you weigh 64 pounds. You're very strong. Thanks. For anybody that's seen my chickens, this is how chickens are supposed to look. <laughs> they're not supposed to have those bare, bare spots and bare patches unless they're, unless they're uh, molting. So I'll see if I can point it out. She looks like a, a Wyandotte of some kind, right? And then Bard Rock, Osterlore, Rhode Island Red, or is she a Cinnamon or a Sex Link? Yes. Okay, so Sex Link. And then she looks like an Easter egg or a, um, what's the, what's the other word? That one's a white leghorn, but yes. what is the other word? Um, I think every flock has that. Yeah. Makes, they just have a need to be superior. I love how the, their their feathers shine green a little bit. I love it. Isn't it pretty? We've named her Oz because of the emerald. Right. And the sun. They are my favorite color. Our favorite personalities are the barred rocks. Of everything we keep, we like the barred rocks because they don't go broody, you know. Yeah. And they're yeah. they're pretty good egg layers, but we like that they don't go broody. Sure. And they're mellow. Okay, so I love your. <coughs> Perches. Thank you. Not like boys. You fed the matter. Why not? <laughs> they've emptied out their dusty boxes. Of course, might be why they haven't laid in two days. Thank you for that. And I need to put some of those. That is exactly how I do my nesting boxes too. It's just out of mm -hmm. a rubber made. You can see. It's just a shed. It doesn't have to be fancy, but it's obvious they're pretty happy. And it's. It's predator proof, you know, yeah. it's warm in there. So. Yeah. Their, um, their water that I keep outside the other night froze. The water that was in there was not frozen. Either. I think the happiest thing in the world is a happy chicken. Mm -hmm. It just makes me happy to look out my window, you know, and see Better than TV, under. right? It is. And there. I'm going to go in. No, sweetie, not right now. Oh, there she goes. Yeah. She's the only one who will get up there to roost. Aren't they funny? They're two years old. She is the mother hen to everybody. Okay? So we named her mama because everyone does what she says. I love chickens. Mm -hmm.